Has this video made you hold your breath? Have you found it fascinating? Yes, everything looks super intensified in slow motion. Slow motion videos have a great demand in almost every aspect of videography. Whether it is cinema, product commercial, or social media videos, slow motion has made its place with its usefulness. However, slow motion cameras are not very affordable and almost impossible to own one for those with a limited budget. And the Kronos slow motion cameras target only that segment of the market. After getting huge acceptance in the market with the previous Kronos 1.4 model, the manufacturer has come with the latest version of the camera, the Kronos 2.1. And in this video, we are going to see what Kronos 2.1 offers as a slow motion camera. So without further ado, let's get started. First, let's talk about the sensor of the Kronos 2.1 HD camera. The sensor has got a huge improvement compared to its predecessors. The Kronos 1.4 was equipped with 1280 by 1024 2 thirds inch global shutter sensor, while the latest 2.1 comes with a 4 thirds inch 1080p sensor. Though it is still smaller than other APS-C based, more professional cinema slow mo cameras. Like the Edgertronics, the sensor size is more than justified for the price range of Kronos. But as the micro four thirds sensors are getting better day by day, this sensor performs significantly well in terms of light sensitivity. Besides, it is a Lux 2100 sensor that produces lesser noise and greater footage clarity. To help you shoot in the moderate lighting condition, the color version of this camera offers ISO ranging from 500 to 8000 and for monochrome, it ranges from 1000 to 16000. As for the videos, Kronos 2.1 comes with a 1952 by 1096 pixel sensor which is capable of shooting 1080p resolution videos at a whopping 1000 frames per second with a full pixel readout. But this is the least frame rate for videos. There are more frame rate options if you choose to decrease the video resolution. You can go up to an insane 24,046 frames per second. But if you are looking for buttery smooth and eye catchy slow motion videos, a frame rate from 3000 to 5000 would be enough. Speaking of its lens support, Kronos 2.1 supports a wide range of lenses including CS, C Nikon F and Canon EF mount lenses. When it comes to shooting slow motion videos indoors, you need a lot of lighting sources to illuminate your subject very brightly, which was an issue in Kronos 1.4. With Kronos 2.1, the footage quality seems to be better with the same lighting setup. On top of that, the Kronos Micro 4 thirds sensor allows you to use speed boosters such as the excellent Metabones line of M4x3 adapters that lets you enjoy a full stop improvement in the light gathering. Another improvement that the new Kronos 2.1 has brought is its rear display. It features a 5 inch 1000 nits display which is 3 times brighter than the previous 1.4 version. With the 1.4 version, it was nearly impossible to shoot under the bright sun as it was only 300 nits. But now you can shoot on a bright sunny day but still many would find it difficult to clearly see everything in the display. So there is room for improving the display further. On the bright side, the display shows focusing peaking and zebra lines for perfect focusing and exposure. The Kronos is a standalone camera for slow motion videos and includes tons of accessibility options. There is an HDMI port that is capable of exporting 1080p footage at a 100 millisecond delay. The delay time is the same as the rear display and it is short enough to attach an additional screen. The HDMI port will also export a 1080p image at 100 millisecond delay time which is the same as the back screen. This is short enough to allow the use of larger accessory screens and or viewfinders with the camera. As far as power is concerned, this camera comes with a field swappable internal battery ENEL4A which offers uninterrupted recording for up to 1 hour. You can also use it as long as you want using the AC adapter 
or through an external power source. And for storage, Kronos supports SD cards. Besides, it has two USB host ports for attaching flash drives or hard drives. In addition to that, you can also take the benefit of eSATA 3G for faster transmission. So that was all about the Kronos 2.1. At around $5,000, this camera comes with tons of features for high quality slow motion videos. And it also offers great value for those with smaller budgets for slow motion projects. So would you like to buy a Kronos 2.1 for your upcoming projects? Let us know in the comment section.